All right, so here I am at the uh, Sunny Hill restoration area after a three, three hour hike, I'd say, somewhere around there. And I wanted to do another motorcycle chat video because uh, these are so easy, you know. That's why, you know, these guys on YouTube, uh, you know, they sit behind their desk and make a video and, uh, you know, I come out here and I hike and I got a clip here and I got a clip there and I got a clip here. Anyway, this is kind of what I do. I wanted to, I talked on the hike a little bit about uh, the snacks that I bring, Slim Jim, maybe some beef jerky. Uh, when it's not too hot, these, these are the best I've been able to find. They're called pure protein bars. 18 grams of protein, 2 grams of sugar, which is not good, but that's not bad. 190 calories, dark chocolate, coconut's my favorite. But uh, you, you get whatever you want. And then, of course, I always pack a little, a little cooler with some cool beer. Just to take the edge off before I ride the motorcycle home. Um, so, uh, you know, I kind of want to hit on uh, just a couple quick things. Uh, you know, you, folks, use your common sense. That's all I got to say, use your common sense. I mean, the Democrats just printed 1.9 trillion. Now they're talking about another 3 trillion. You're already 27 to 30 trillion in debt. I mean, these, these numbers are just unimaginable. I mean, I, I mean, when we hit billions years ago, I thought we were gonna bankrupt. Um, no way, no way you print this kind of money. There's a financial crisis coming. And uh, whether you wanna believe it or not, whether you're preparing for it or not, I, I love watching uh, Jeremiah Babe he makes a video every day talking about getting ready for the, the catastrophe that we're about to all experience and, uh, and uh, how you don't need to be spending that stimulus check on uh, big screen TVs. You know, instead you should be stocking up on necessities and food and anything else you can think of. And I've done a lot of resilience videos just out hiking, talking about all the things I'm doing. Do I want to have fun? Well, this is fun, but this is also about getting my body in shape, okay? I come out here and I do these long hikes. And also mentally, you know, I mean, if you believe what I believe, which is that we're in for a world of hurt, you know, I gotta, I gotta help myself out spiritually, mentally, and physically. And that's what these hikes are all about. Cause uh, you know, a lot of people, they don't, they just think you can print money forever and everything's fine, nothing's gonna happen. So, and that's the first thing. And I've already talked in other videos about the moves that I'm making to, to, to prepare for all that. Uh, let me just throw out, I thought this video would be fun. I, you know, I've already told you about Jeremiah Babe. That's a guy on YouTube that you can watch. Uh, everybody says he's a downer, but uh, he's just a realist, you know, and, uh, and he always reads news articles. And I like, uh, I like some of the news articles that he pulls out and why he's uh, talking about them. So you can get a little bit of news that way. Uh, then you've got uh, uh, David Morgan of the Morgan Report. Um, that, that is one. I mean, there are some smart, smart people on YouTube. I'm not one of them, but uh, and uh, David Morgan, he's got the Morgan Report, and uh, he's he's on there in various uh, capacities. A lot of times as a guest speaker, and then he's got his own uh, YouTube channel. Uh, so that's a guy I would I would uh, suggest you tune into. Uh, he pulls up a lot of uh, graphs and a lot of uh, data that uh, you're looking at, because I mean, I'm sure he's either gets the subscriptions free or he's subscribed to all of this stuff. Of course, he puts out his own data. So uh, that's a real good channel to watch. Um, you got Chris Marcus now of Arcadia Economics. Um, he's doing a fantastic job covering uh, silver. He's a silver buff. Uh, no, mind all precious metals, but mainly silver. And uh, he's always got, uh, he's got his finger on the pulse. You know, he talked about uh, there was a big, influx of silver into the, uh, supposedly into the COMEX, uh, but you know, by, by, if you calculate the numbers, it's like an impossible amount. I hope that grass is, <laughs> is not blowing into the video here. Um, so you got that guy, uh, who else should you be tuning into? Chris Marcus, hold on, let me, let me break that grass. <laughs> You're gonna have it waving in front of the camera. There we go. I didn't even think about that when I set up for this video. Uh, um, there's a, gosh, I can't remember the other guy's name. There's another, Don, I think his name's Don Stockton. He's on there. And, uh, you know, if you just fish around, you, you'll find all the channels. Uh, like John Bravo, he's, he's, I, I like it because he's got a good sense of humor. And, uh, but he's selling you his, uh, his system. He wants to sell you stuff. And, 
you know, but he does a good job. He gets he usually gets some sort of news article and uh, I don't know to feed the algorithm. Um, oh, of course, Viva Fry. You know, I love that guy. He's always talking about legal stuff. You know, the legal cases. Uh, you know, you got the Rittenhouse case. Uh, you know, Flint. They they're coming back after Flint again. That poor man. I don't know why they won't leave him alone. He hasn't done anything wrong, as far as I can tell. Um, you know, and then you've got. Uh, uh, there's some other cases that are, are real interesting that they go over. Uh, well, you got, you know, you had the parlor was suing uh, Google and Amazon for a while there. I don't know where that stands. I think it might be over with. I think they lost. And then you had, um, well, you've got uh, Rumble right now suing uh, Google. And uh, that's still in the works. So he covers that too. And, uh, and then there's uh, Uneducated Economist. Uh, he's got a channel and uh, he just talks about lumber. And what he's seeing, because he works in a lumber yard, and uh, pretty knowledgeable guy. I mean, if you ever wanted to tune into him, so you know, this is kind of what I do in the evenings. Is I just I'm like, for example, tonight, uh, Arcadia Economics is going to have a silver roundtable, and they'll, they'll probably have uh, five, five people on there, including Chris. So that'd be four, four guests, and Chris, Marcus, maybe five, and uh, really intelligent people, and they're going to just talk about what they're seeing and what we can expect next week. Uh, so. Uh, Anyway, uh, I just, you know, this is what I do. You know, these are, these are fig bars, too much sugar in them, but I like, I, my grandmother hooked me on Fig Newtons many years ago. Of course, there's still a couple of crackers left in here. Um, trying to think, is there anything else? Well, you know, I got the carrier going on the back of the motorcycle, so now I can pick up groceries and get 100 miles to the gallon. We already talked about cars and where I, I think we should be buying Priuses or, well, the Tesla's good. Uh, but it's, it's all electric, and if you lose power, you're screwed. I mean, you can't even drive your car. So I, I prefer a hybrid, uh, so it's just me. Um, and do I own one? No, I want to get one, though. Uh, I just, you know, only so, many, so much you can do, there's only so much money in the world, or, or for us little fish, I mean, not for you know the big guys who are uh, getting more and more every day. So that's it, I guess, for today's motorcycle talk. Um, peace out, guys. Uh, I don't know what you're doing to get in shape. But, you know, make sure the finances are good. Yeah, if you're in the stock market, whatever. It's a casino. It's not a stock market, people. Um, can you make money in it? Probably not me. I'm out. I'm out. Are you in bonds? I'm out. Um, I'm all, all in. And then you, you know not to buy the, uh, the Comex ETFs. SLV, SIVR, um, GLD. Stay the hell away from those. Uh, if you're going to get in... Into, into the ETFs, uh, the precious metal ETFs, you know, you want to buy Sprott, PSLV, uh, CEF, I think, uh, uh, PHYS, I think something like that, that's their goal. You can go to the website, Sprott.com, and, and look up the, uh, they got some mutual funds too, you might want to look at it, and if, if you really want to just turn your money over to them, they'll manage it for you for a fee. Um, whew, wow. All right, so I'm going to kick back, have a beer, listen to the bugs, Enjoy that, because this is another thing, you know, a lot of people are morning people, and uh, I work nights most of my life, so I'm more of an evening person. I just like the evenings. I'm watching the sunset right here, and, uh, you know, you get a bit better breeze in the evenings, and all that dew is not on the ground, so you don't get that coming up, and the day gets cooler as you hike instead of warmer. So you start out in the heat, and you will finish up in the nice cool temperatures. It's, it's just beautiful out here right now. In fact, it's going to be a little bit cold riding the motorcycle home. I got a long ride home. Because um, getting out here, I mean, when you get out into the forest like this, it's a, it's a bit of a haul. And that's why I bought that motorcycle so that I can get that 100 miles to the gallon. Because driving a car out here, I mean, I'd be looking at probably five, ten. Well, this is before. Oh, by the way, was I right? Was I right? $3 a gallon today. Okay, now they're, they're saying the Suez Canal. No, people, man, we took down the Keystone Pipeline. And my wife says, well, that was just there to help Canada. Well, what about the 150, I mean, like I said, liberal mind, right? Liberal mind is crazy. Um, you know, I, I said, well, what about the 150,000 jobs of people that were working on the pipeline? Union jobs, by the way, who probably voted for Biden. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. I mean, is that poetic justice? No, I don't want to see anybody lose their job. But, you know, I just, I didn't understand. One stroke of the pen, boom, they were done. Fracking industry is just decimated. So you, you, you're not getting a lot of oil and gas there. And of course, they're talking about the Green New Deal and they're subsidizing, you know. Uh, so, I mean, the oil and gas and everything's going to get. So I predicted $5 a gallon, 
five dollars a gallon or more or more and if we do get the inflation that I think is coming that's going to even add to the price now they're now the Biden administration is talking about putting a tax in addition to the price going up on fuel they're going to tax it so if you've got a gas guzzling vehicle you're out of your mind because and especially if you got a long commute with a gas guzzling vehicle you better before the prices get up get up because you know once those gas prices go way up those little gas sippers or the price of those cars are going to go way up so now is the time to get rid of the big you know four-wheel drive pick them up truck you know 250 getting 10 miles to the gallon and get you a prius or something else that sips gas hell if you if you really want i mean i love those outbacks i get 33 miles to the gallon but just saying folks just saying peace out <clears throat>